please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. Ladies, ready for your final challenge? All right, ladies. That's right, ladies. Today, you will be taking accountability. It's over with. Hell no. Okay. All right. That's why I draw the line. Y'all doing way too much. Okay. You, you crazy? Who's taking that? I'm gonna head out. Okay. Good luck, ladies. Thanks. Okay. Well, hold on real quick, though, sweetheart. I got you some of these rings. Look, I, I, I just want to let you know you're very beautiful. Shit's good. Look, uh, on God. 110 calories. And then there were two. Yes, ladies, get ready. Welcome to Storytime with a grown woman, Swag, and the Debbie is silent. I want to thank you in advance from the intro, and I'm going to wish you the best of luck. Let's begin. Ladies, today's challenge, you will walk up to the table and take accountability. There's no time limit. The first person to do it takes home $100,000. Are you ladies ready? It's on you. Let's go grab it, babe. Ladies, there's no trick to it. Just there's no strategy. It's just it's literally right there. Just that was just the execs. They've raised the amount to two hundred thousand dollars. So, ladies, welcome and welcome again. So, I hope you found that clip to be humorous, but in actuality. It is, it is real, it's true life. So many of us women find it so freaking hard to take accountability. We will go all around in circles just to take accountability. We will go all around with our responses just to avoid taking accountability. So what exactly is accountability in a relationship? Well, according to marriage.com, accountability is a willingness to accept responsibility for one's actions, words, and feelings. When you take ownership and accept responsibility for each of your actions in a relationship, it becomes very easy for your partner to trust and to depend on you. Knowing how to hold yourself accountable in a relationship helps in building profitable relationships with others. It involves recognizing effects, the effects of your behaviors on your partners and the relationships and accepting responsibility for it. Accountability in relationships can be difficult. But with these easy ways, you can learn to be more accountable and hold someone else accountable. So here they have 15 ways to be more accountable in a relationship. So what are those ways? We're not going to go into everything inside of the, the touch point. I will leave the link in a pinned comment or maybe in the description. So, but we're just going to go on over the, the um, highlights. So, number one, do a self-assessment and review of yourself. And that's what I did when I started this reinventing journey. I did a, a self-assessment a, a self of me. And I felt like I could do, I needed work. I always felt like being feminine was you know having the makeup and the hair and the lashes and the clothes and shoes you know just that outer 
but it stems from within. And although I am one who doesn't mind being submissive to my man, I'm not as feminine as I need to be. And if being more accountable helps me to appear more feminine, that's what I want to do. So number one is self-assessment in which I did that. Number two, set goals to improve yourself. So weekly, well, I won't say weekly, but as I challenge myself to do things differently, to make myself more feminine or um, to become more feminine, I share that in shorts on here and to let people know, you know, hey, this is what I did this week. This is what I did last week, uh, a couple of weeks ago, just to, you know, see my improvement and help someone else see my improvement as well. Number three, do away with the blame game. We have to stop blaming others. If you did it, you did it. (laughs) It's, It's as simple as that. When you blame your partner for everything happening in your relationship but refuse to see your contributions as part of the issue, be assured that you are heading towards ruining your relationship. Number four, so hard for many of us, learn to apologize. Yeah, mistakes are inevitable and nobody is perfect. Still, your ability to accept personal responsibilities for your wrongs and apologize for them in a relationship indicates that you are more accountable. Be open and transparent. That comes with communication, in which communication in my list was number four. In actuality, it was number one because once I started on those talking points, it became number four. But it was really like number one once I got to the talking points. So be open and transparent. So that has a lot to do with communication. I'm number six. Be open to minimal meaningful compromise and every healthy relationship compromise is inevitable compromise for me on this particular journey in this playlist compromise is number seven and number seven on here is be committed to your words it is one thing to say something and it's another thing to do accordingly so do as you say you're going to do number eight Get feedback from your partner. Seeking feedback from your partner on what you are doing right or wrong in a relationship will show you how to hold a person accountable. Holding someone accountable also helps you to know if their words and actions impede or improve the relationship. Number nine, consider your partner's perspective. There is something about accountability and relationship that makes it about the two parties in the relationships. It's about having emotional intelligence in which one of these talking points, I talked about emotional intelligence as well. Do not overcommit. So to be more accountable in a relationship, you must do away with overcommitment. Why make commitments you cannot meet up with? And... Oof. That's a part of why I'm not why I'm single right well why I'm not dating right now because I cannot stand when somebody overcommits and know they can't when the only thing they have to do is say I can't do it and I'm okay with that but either here nor there <laughs> either here nor there so yeah overcommit do not overcommit Okay, number 11. Identify your role. You have if you're in a heterosexual relationship, one man, one woman, one pants, one dress. That's that's it. So take accountability in relationships. Taking account of, taking accountability in relationships will only be easy if you are clear about what you're responsible for until you know your role and what your partner expects from you you will know if what you are doing is right or wrong to hold 
yourself accountable. That didn't sound right. It says, until you know your role and what your partner expects from you, you will know what you are doing is right or wrong. I, I think it's supposed to say you won't know if what you're doing is right or wrong. Okay, number 12, seek professional help. A forward-thinking partner who truly desires their relationship to grow and become successful will reach out for help from professionals to guide them through how to guide them through how to avoid behaviors and attitudes that are capable of causing an input uh impediment to the success of the relationship this is basically count some type of counseling i started counseling after i lost my job because I knew that it was my fault. I knew there were things that I could have done that would have made me appear to be a better person, um, not have a negative stigma of myself um, from that individual. And so I thought counseling for that. Granted, I did learn that that's a part of me and who I am, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but maybe I just don't need to work in the, in the environment of those type of individuals. So that helped me. But yes, this was basically talking about counseling when it says seek professional help, not your girlfriend, professional help. And number 13, make accountability a priority. The relationship is not a one-person show. It takes two to tango. And making accountability a priority in your relationship, all you need to do is take a step back. Think of how you have contributed to what is happening in your relationship and seek ways to make changes. Number 14, manage your time effectively. The importance of time management cannot be overemphasized when taking accountability in a relationship. Managing time can be difficult, but you can manage your time effectively with discipline. Number 15, which is the last one, learn to respond and not react. I'm, I'm a reactor sometimes. I can, I can admit to that. So regarding taking accountability in relationships, you need to learn to respond to issues you have with your partner rather than react. And responding to what happens in your relationship allows you to think through the situation before saying anything about it. Still, when you react, you need to take the time to analyze the situation before acting, which can worsen the situation. So, the takeaway from this, why hold someone accountable when you are not? Partners who take accountability in their relationships always consider what they need to do to salvage the situation and improve the relationship. Suppose you want to be more accountable in your relationship. In that case, you must communicate with your partner about how you feel and avoid playing the victim. And apologize, apologize, apologize for what you have done wrong. So, yeah. And if you have to, it says to learn more about how to have a healthier, happy relationship, take a course. So, yes, guys, I'm going to leave this in the description, probably. And um, it has a link to take a course. So, this is from marriage.com. And on my list of reinventing yourself, it is accountability is number eight. So let's talk about it in the comments, guys or ladies. Is it easy for you to take accountability? Let's talk about it. And if you haven't, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.